President Biden renewed his support for Ukraine at the United Nations General Assembly today. It comes as some Republican lawmakers urge the U.S. to send less aid for war efforts. Grinnell Scott has more. We gather once more at an inflection point in world history. President Biden calling for global cooperation at the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday, saying the United States would seek to, quote, responsibly manage competition with China. None of these partnerships are about containing any country. They're about a positive vision for our shared future. The president also trying to rally support for Ukraine. His administration is preparing a new military aid package ahead of President Volodymyr Zelensky's visit to the White House Thursday. Russia's price for peace is Ukraine's capitulation, Ukraine's territory, and Ukraine's children. But some congressional Republicans criticize the additional aid and say Zelensky should look elsewhere. My mind on that is made up. Uh, he should go to Europe. Also speaking to the General Assembly Tuesday, the president of Iran. His remarks come just a day after the U.S. released five Iranian prisoners and handed over $6 billion in frozen funds in exchange for five Americans. Outside the U.N., the Iranian president's visit to the U.S. sparking protests. Raisi may stand there, but the people of Iran stand here. On Wednesday, President Biden meets with the president of Brazil and the Israeli prime minister. Grinnell Scott, Fox 32, Chicago.